Many people, including me, love the ability of the Rode Wireless Go 2 to split the audio from its transmitters into left and right channels. And it's fairly easy to understand why this is helpful. For example, if you're recording a two-person interview and one person is talking louder or quieter than the other, you can then edit the audio from each person's microphone independently and even them out. Pretty much every single review of the Rode Wireless Go 2 mentions this feature, but almost nobody shows how to actually perform this edit. And you usually do have to edit this audio to some degree, because when recording in the split channel mode, the audio you get through the left channel only plays through the left side, and the audio you get from the right channel only plays through the right side, and that typically isn't what you want in your finished product. I floundered for quite a while before finally figuring this out and wanted to show just how easy it is to do this edit in Final Cut Pro. So we're now in Final Cut Pro. I've got my footage and its audio in the timeline. To really help illustrate this point even easier, I spoke the lyrics to Mary Had a Little Lamb into the Rode Wireless Go 2 that you see in the frame. And I had the second Rode Wireless Go 2 transmitter sitting beside my phone while it was playing some music uh, in another room. And so if I play this right now, what you're going to hear is that this is a stereo track, and if you're wearing headphones, this is really going to be illustrated even more. In the uh, right track, the right ear, you're going to hear the music, and in the left ear, you're going to hear the spoken word. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. And so that's obviously not something that you want to have as a finished product because it's going to drive everybody absolutely uh, bonkers. And so the easy, very easy way to edit this is, and let's pause on something that's a little bit more uh, positive for me there. So we're going to go up here and we're going to click on the audio icon and you see that it says stereo. We're going to click that drop down and select dual mono. And you see we've got a change there. Then we're going to come down to the footage and we're going to right click the footage and we're going to click expand audio components. Now, you see that brought up the left track and the right track as separate audio tracks down there in our timeline. So you can hear this. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to, to press V to deselect it. And so now we're only hearing this bottom track. And so all you hear now through both ears is that music. Now we let's reverse it just to, to make sure we got it right. So I'm going to press V to deselect it, press the other one, press V to select it. Now you'll only hear me. Which was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play. It made the children laugh at play to see a lamb. And now if I select them both, as opposed to when we first imported the footage and you were only hearing each one on each ear independently, now that we're in dual mono, if we play it, Laugh and play, laugh You'll hear and both play, of them play. playing th through both it ears at the, the same time. children laugh at play to see a lamb at school. And so the teacher sent it out. All right, and so now we can edit each of these independently. And so I'll expand it a little bit. And so now we're zoomed in a little bit more. The top audio track is the spoken word. The bottom audio track is the music. Now... I can edit these just as I would edit any audio independently. Uh, for example, I can use the range tool. I'll just press R, drag this over, and I'll just drag it down to zero. And so now when we play this, you're Mary, only hearing the spoken lamb, word. Little lamb, little lamb. Mary had And then we've got lamb. that. And so again, to illustrate this point even more, let's reverse it. I'm going to use the range tool for a section of the spoken word, drop that to zero, and then just to alternate a little bit, I'm going to do that a couple times. And so now if we play this back, you can hear that it's going to go between each one without hearing the other one at all, and it's going to be playing through both ears at the same time. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Everywhere that Mary went. 
And now you can hear that we have distinct audio from each transmitter completely independent from the other one, quick and easy in Final Cut Pro. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with anybody who you think would get value. You can also click here for more videos.